This video is a guide on how to get the most out of the exosuit, so we'll be going over how to kill various heavy enemies with the exosuit, and we'll also be going over various special features and immunities that the exosuit has, and what you can do to use these special features and immunities to your advantage. The exosuit is immune to the EMS strike, so you can simply walk around in the EMS strike and shoot down enemies. This is a really powerful option in big crowds or when you're dealing with multiple really strong enemies. It's also immune to fire damage, so you can use napalm strikes and then just walk over the fire. Make sure not to get hit by the initial explosion of the napalm strike though, because that does explosive damage and will still destroy your exosuit. You can do the same thing with gas strikes as well. The limited amount of ammo in the exosuits means that you should use your rockets wisely. I would recommend using these on chargers and bigger enemies. If you shoot a charger twice in one arm, then you can very rapidly kill it by shooting that arm with the minigun to finish it off, and you can kill a bile titan by simply hitting it in the head twice in a row with missiles. Tower cannons and tanks will blow up in one or two missiles to the turret, and hulks will die in two rockets to the face. I haven't tested the hulk backpack yet, but it's possible that will blow up with one rocket. Using missiles on crowds is kind of wasteful because they don't really have much splash damage so you'll probably only be killing one or two small enemies anyways if you use your missiles on crowds. You can also conserve ammo by simply walking over some of the smaller enemies like scavengers. This will only damage the exosuit if they are attacking while you walk over them. The minigun on the Patriot exosuit has medium armor penetration. That means that you can blow through things like the Sentinel's face armor and totally ignore it. This is the same for a lot of the automaton missions, so something like a Devastator, for example, you can just shoot it in the chest and kill it very quickly. One of the really nice features of the exosuit is that you can walk through most deep water with it. This makes it easier to cut across maps and lets you go through a lot of areas that are otherwise inaccessible. Most support items aren't going to do anything in the exosuit. The exception to this is the shield generator. Depending on where you're looking, it'll move the shield around on your exosuit. Most of the time it's just going to be facing out of the front like this though. And the gunshots do have to actually hit the shield, otherwise it doesn't do anything. From what I've tried, this is really only useful on the automatons. It doesn't make too big of a difference considering how much fire you generally take in the exosuit, but the shots do add up. There are some times though where it'll absorb a tank shot or other explosives that would do a lot of damage to your exosuit, so that's nice. That's pretty inconsistent though. The moment if you turn too rapidly while you fire the rocket launcher in the exosuit will intersect your exosuit's body and blow you up. To prevent this, try to not fire the rocket launcher while the top half of your exosuit is turning. If you're standing still and aiming straight, then the rocket bug shouldn't happen. That's it for the exosuit. If I had to add anything else, I would say that the exosuit is faster than it looks and you can actually outrun a lot of enemies with it. So it is still possible to kite enemies and avoid encounters in the exosuit even though it feels like you're super slow. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this and let me know if you have anything to add in the comments.